If you want to collaborate out with multiple people, then you can create team and then invite members. So in order to do that, first of all, what you need to do is you need to go around onto the home page and then click on create new team. So once you do that, you need to add in the name for your team. So I'm just going to type in tututube team right here and I'm going to click on create team over here. So once I do that, what happens is that you'll have to add in the email address of collaborators. You can add in as many email address as you want or you can skip it so that you can add in email addresses later. But in my case, I'm just going to add in one email address uh, right here. So I'm just going to type in my Outlook email. So I'm just going to go around and type in my email right here. So to my other account, um, and then I'm going to click continue so, uh, right here. So once I do that, you can choose the team plan. I'm just going to go for the free one right here. And then what happens is that a team project is here and you got the team right here. So now this is the default project right here. So if I were to click it, this is what you have. So let me just delete this out. So in the free plan, uh, you can only have one project. So I'm going to go around on over here, click on plus button to create a new design file. So that is going to be the team project right here. And this is within the team. So I can go around over here and I'm just going to go around and say tutor uh, tube uh, teams project just like this over here. And then I'm going to just close this out. So under the team, now I have one project. So if I were to go around over here on Tutu Tube team, you can see that there's a team project right here. You can access the members right here. So you know who the members are. And right now uh, the person is spending, as you can see, and you can change the uh, permission level of the members right here as well. You can make them administrators so that they can add in other team members and even modify major things or you can just let them be viewers right here and under settings you got different things like you can change the team name if you want to you can change the team icon you can upload out your own icon as well or delete out the team right here you can enable out libraries as well so i'm just going to go around onto team and over here on the right side you can invite more team members and you can also go around add in uh, some description right here this description is what i'm going to type and this is what you have so over here, you can see that there's um, details of the team. So you can see that uh, you can use unlimited uh, uh, fig exam files. And over here, you can see one of three uh, Figma design files are used right now. So now what happens when you actually uh, uh, create a team is that the other member is sent an email invite. So what the other member will see is this. It says uh, like you have been invited to join Tututube team. So they'll have to click on the email and then they have to click on accept invite and what happens is that it'll open up in the new window and if they're not signed into figma it'll prompt to bring them to sign in and then this is what they will see they will see everything that you uh, actually did in the team um in team right here they'll be able to access out the project as well and then make changes to this according to the permission level that you set uh, for them. And that is how you can create team and then invite members inside of Figma to work collaboratively, uh, collaboratively among one another. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.